Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read for Sunday, July 2nd, 2023. That was beyond a struggle to say. Um, I hope you're doing well. We're going to begin a pull from this Flowers of the Night Oracle deck, which I was very much guided to. Um, and then we'll move on to some tarot. Um, just ignore the tan I have going on on my nose uh, from wearing my sunglasses yesterday. I was out and about all day interviewing at places, but finally um, was hired on the spot at a job uh, for a job. So um, I was successful. So it's worth it, I guess. Um, okay, first coming out, passion. What are we passionate about? I feel like this could come through when it comes to communication, what you achieve, who you're wrapped up with in general. Um, I want to say when it comes to your mannerisms, your movements, um, how you express yourself, right? This could be tied into um, what you're watching, what you're reading, what you're listening to, uh, potentially uh, tied up to uh, due to getting a release of some sort. Um, I feel like if you find yourself busy throughout the Sunday, um, and that could be any type of busyness, right? It doesn't have to say be work. It could be for some like myself, but it could be cleaning up, running errands, socializing, right? It could be um, even you uh, in your alone time trying to, I'm hearing chill out, uh, relax, um, heal. I feel like there's still levels of passion in whatever kind of busyness or however your day your sunday is filled up okay um readiness i feel like in certain ways or in one particular way you're ready for a new beginning or ready for a change of some sort kind of the same thing if you think about it um ready for something new or something different you could be seeing uh different levels coming through Evidently and throughout the Sunday of you more so getting ready for something like I'll be training for my new job um, And I feel that this new job is going to uh, naturally prepare me and get me ready for um, A new beginning down the line. Okay, so how does it look for you? Uh, I feel as if spirit saying you will be ready. Okay um, the universe is making sure of it um, but don't be surprised when you're finding yourself visualizing throughout the stay um, in certain ways, uh, visualizing a, a brighter future for yourself, visualizing yourself being more so ready, what something's going to entail, look like for you. Once again, I feel as if um, your ability to see what you desire and then manifest it. This came up in, I want to say the last couple of daily reads. Um, couple of the daily reads but um, your ability to visualize believe in what you are um, seeing um, you know believing in and then uh, seeing it come to be all right or even again getting ready for it, working towards it uh, regardless of how long you expect um, or end up seeing this take to to come to be okay um, but what are you aware of? And it feels like you're being pushed by one, if not multiple other people, by spirit, the universe potentially, to be more aware of what lies ahead or what you're getting yourself wrapped up with or what you um, already have if it's a continuing situation. Spirit saying being aware, being very informed and ready to go. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It just... Um, having that knowledge and a clear sight of what you're moving towards and what you're continuing or stepping into, it's going to be key for you, all right, uh, to prevent slip-ups, to prevent um, any doubt coming to be um, so that you can succeed more, okay, uh, or see that situation succeed. Look at that, wisdom, all right? So let's put this down so I don't keep reading those oracles. And then we're going to pull from this deck for Sunday to continue. From chill to busy. I mean, I know that how that's going to work for me. I'm working three doubles for training in a row. In the, uh, if I could even say it. I'm working three doubles in the next uh, three days, including today, um, to wipe my training out of the way. Oh, and then I'm going to be working after that. Anyways on top of these readings. So to continue for Sunday, 
sometimes being busy, sometimes success means dealing with certain um, difficulties, potential noise factors, but I feel like you're also being reminded, and I want to say it's not just this Sunday, but surrounding it as well, um, apply it as you may, but when you're comfortable in a situation, that's important. When you're comfortable wrapped up with somebody or multiple people or where you're working, where you're living, this is of true importance. Even where you're just randomly ending up shopping or visiting, it could be someone else's house. Uh, or living situation but where you're comfortable is a good sign okay that is you reading the energy and how things are affecting you um, in that location that situation or with that person and this should alert you to either stay away if you're not feeling comfortable or to limit your involvement in that situation or with that person um, or it should remind you why you chose that person or that situation to begin with and continued with them um, or it uh, or why you made that choice recently or whether or not you should does that make sense I know I get very wordy with these readings but that is just how it's coming out the Queen of Cups very interesting I put it on top of both the awareness and the passion card spirit saying being aware of how things are affecting you like we were just speaking upon but not just energy wise but that could be part of it but emotionally right fulfillment wise what is leaving you feeling passionately fulfilled okay what's leaving you feeling as if your cup is filling up and not uh being uh drained does that make sense right adding to your life adding to your fulfillment your passion your excitement um your motivation and not depleting you of or removing some of which right um say for example you're talking to somebody at work or whatever the case may be if the, talking to them is leaving you feeling less confident or less motivated or it's making you feel emotional or you know in a negative sense if it's making you um yeah feel less passionate if i didn't say that already um even if it has its other benefits is that really a good person to be wrapping yourself up with i think not okay and that's just one example all right that again goes for being wrapped up with a situation like a job or in that living situation um you name it and so when need be throughout this day specifically and just in your life as a whole if we were to step back where do we need to make certain adjustments where do we need to maneuver to and away from okay to continue for sunday Wow, I didn't like that is what I'm, I'm hearing. Wow, I didn't like that. And I really didn't like the way I said, um, you know, to continue for Sunday, if that's even how I worded it. Um, I just feel like there's going to be a moment or two, whether it's your awareness, uh, observation of yourself or out, something outside of you. It could be, you know, something you witness or experience with somebody else, if not multiple other people. I feel like it's just not going to be satisfactory or to your liking um let's just move on okay because i feel like it's something that you can't change or control strength and this one's on top of the passionate card um, or the passion card rather and the readiness card and so i feel like um i'm hearing reading okay uh typing stuff like that's coming into play um because they just changed the word readiness uh to reading um it's very interesting how spirit pushes me to get these messages but i feel as if there is a strength to when you feel passionate about a situation or about something in general um, or about somebody uh there's a vibe about you okay look at this being pushed to recognize that you're heading towards this ten of pentacles success uh lifestyle more for yourself abundance my friend okay the situation was the right choice for you or is the right choice but things are changing okay you're changing you're being noticed for somebody who's changing um i feel as if you're thinking about whether or not a change you are going to or are making to your appearance or to your lifestyle is going to be appropriate or to the liking of someone close to you or in your life um i would say if need be ask or just do it anyways okay 
what's the worst case scenario? Um, but it's like me, uh, for example, I know I keep bringing it back to me, I'm a Leo, bear with me. Um, but I like to give examples. I want to, when I grow my hair back out, like I said in the previous daily read, I want to bleach it again. I don't know if the new job's going to be okay with that. I almost don't care, but you get the point. I do want to keep it. Um, but there is a strength and a passion about, passionate way about your energy throughout this day. And I feel like people like it. Um, but it's kind of in a soft way, I feel the need to say. And it's really coinciding, wrapping up nicely with the way a Sunday should feel. Um, in spirit saying, just because you're potentially very busy or kind of busy throughout this Sunday, doesn't mean it needs to feel heavy, right? It should feel light. You should want your Sundays to feel light and fluffy, right? And almost effortless in what you get done. Um, I feel like for some it's a vibe of you going from one thing to the next um, but they're also saying when you feel prepared when you feel more so ready for what you're stepping into continuing knowingly need to um, or aware you need to uh, accept uh, overcome or accomplish doesn't that leave you feeling stronger okay so there's that kind of preparation vibe and you might be gaining wisdom, information, knowledge about how to be more uh, ready for uh, to feel stronger in regards to a situation. All right. It feels like this day is all about you getting ready to see things change and succeed more for yourself. And again, to head towards more abundance in one, if not multiple ways. OK, so if this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your Sunday and I'll definitely see you next time.